Have you ever wondered about the top tourist spots in Washington, D.C.? Today, we embark on an incredible journey, unveiling the historic charm and captivating allure of the nation's capital, starting with none other than the iconic Capitol Building. Standing tall as a beacon of democracy, it's more than just a monument, it's a symbol of the American spirit. Throughout its storied history, the Capitol Building has served as the meeting place for the U.S. Congress, where laws are crafted and the future of the nation is shaped. Its neoclassical architecture, an ode to the ancient democracies of Greece and Rome, is a sight to behold. The Capitol Building, however, is more than its marble exterior and grand dome. It's the heart of the U.S. federal government beating with the pulse of the nation it serves. Now having explored the Capitol Building, where do we go next? Stick around to find out. From the Capitol Building, we move to another symbol of power and authority, the White House. The White House, with its distinct neoclassical architecture, stands as a beacon of democracy, not only in the United States, but globally. This renowned building has a rich history that spans over two centuries, beginning its story in the late 18th century. It was in the year 1792 that the foundation stone was laid, marking the start of a journey that would see it become the official residence and working space of the President of the United States. Over time, the White House has borne witness to the rise and fall of 46 presidencies, each leaving its unique mark on the building and shaping the course of American history. It's here, within these walls, where crucial decisions affecting millions of lives, both domestically and internationally, are made. The White House isn't just a symbol of the U.S. presidency. It's a symbol of the American people's trust in their elected leader. It's a living testament to the democratic ideals that the nation was built upon. It's a symbol of stability in a world often fraught with uncertainty. But let's not forget the human element of the White House. It's more than just an office. It's a home. It's where presidents have raised their children, celebrated holidays, and weathered personal and public crises. It's where history is made, yes, but it's also where life happens. In the global political arena, the White House holds immense significance. It's here where diplomatic ties are forged, international policies are debated, and world-changing decisions are made. It's a place where the world's leaders come to discuss, negotiate, and sometimes to simply understand one another better. Despite its grandeur and political importance, the White House is not an inaccessible fortress. It's open to the public, allowing people from all walks of life to witness firsthand the place where their leadership resides and decisions shaping their nation are made. So, that was the White House. But there's more to see in Washington, D.C. Stay tuned. Next, we take a visit to an iconic symbol of the city, the Washington Monument. This towering obelisk, standing at an impressive 555 feet, is a tribute to the first president of the United States, George Washington. It's a beacon of history and pride, piercing the sky above the Capitol, and it has stood there, steadfast and tall, for well over a century. The history of the Washington Monument is as rich as the man it commemorates. The idea of building a monument to honor George Washington was conceived even before he passed away in 1799. However, it wasn't until the mid-19th century when the actual construction began. The project was fraught with interruptions, from lack of funds to the Civil War, causing the monument to take an astonishing 36 years to complete. The Washington Monument is more than just an architectural marvel. It's a symbol of the nation's gratitude towards a man who played an instrumental role in the founding of the United States. George Washington was not only the first president, but also a military general who led the American Revolutionary War. He was a man of character and integrity, and the monument is a fitting tribute to his enduring legacy. The monument's construction is a testament to the ingenuity and perseverance of the time. Constructed of marble, granite, and bluestone gneiss, it was the tallest building in the world upon its completion in 1884, until it was surpassed by the Eiffel Tower five years later. Visitors today can take an elevator ride to the top of the monument, where they are greeted with a breathtaking view of Washington, D.C. From this vantage point, you can see the Capitol Building, the Lincoln Memorial, and the Reflecting Pool, among other notable sites. The Washington Monument sure is a sight to behold, but wait, there's more. Now we move to a tribute to another great U.S. leader, the Lincoln Memorial. This majestic monument, nestled at the far end of the National Mall, is a powerful ode to Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States, and a symbol of unity and hope for all Americans. 
The Lincoln Memorial was conceived as a tribute to a man who held the nation together during one of its darkest hours. Abraham Lincoln was a beacon of hope and unity during the Civil War, striving to keep the country united despite the odds. His ideals are immortalized in this monument, reflecting his enduring commitment to equality and freedom. The history of the Lincoln Memorial is as fascinating as the man it commemorates. Its construction began in the year 1918 and was completed in 1922. The architect Henry Bacon designed the monument to resemble a Greek Doric temple, a symbol of democracy and law. It stands about 99 feet tall, dwarfing visitors with its grandeur and majesty. Inside the memorial, a larger-than-life statue of Lincoln, created by sculptor Daniel Chester French, captivates all who visit. Lincoln is depicted seated deep in thought, symbolizing his contemplative leadership during a tumultuous time in American history. Enshrined on the walls are two of his most famous speeches, the Gettysburg Address and his second inaugural address, allowing visitors to reflect on his profound words of wisdom and inspiration. Over the years, the Lincoln Memorial has also served as a stage for pivotal moments in American history. It was here on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial that Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his iconic I Have a Dream speech, ushering in a new era of civil rights. The Lincoln Memorial is not just a monument, it's a symbol of unity, hope, and the enduring spirit of a nation that strives for equality and justice for all its citizens. It's a living testament to the ideals that Lincoln held dear and a reminder of the sacrifices made in the pursuit of these ideals. The Lincoln Memorial truly is a testament to the nation's history, but our journey doesn't end here. Our next stop is a monument dedicated to a man who penned the Declaration of Independence, the Jefferson Memorial. The Jefferson Memorial, a beacon of beauty and history, stands tall on the tidal basin, offering a serene view of Washington, D.C. This monument is a tribute to the third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson, a man of many talents and an ardent believer in the ideals of liberty and self-governance. But what's the story behind this monument? The Jefferson Memorial was commissioned by President Franklin D. Roosevelt, a great admirer of Jefferson. Designed by John Russell Pope in the neoclassical style, the monument was completed in 1943, during the height of World War II. Its design was inspired by the Pantheon in Rome, a nod to Jefferson's own admiration for classical Roman architecture. The monument's interior houses a 19-foot bronze statue of Jefferson, accompanied by passages from his writings including the famous preamble to the Declaration of Independence. The words etched in the walls are Jefferson's own, reminding us of his profound belief in the inherent rights of individuals and the responsibilities of a democratic government. But it's not just about the architecture or the inscriptions. The memorial stands as a symbol of the nation's commitment to the ideals of freedom, equality, and the pursuit of happiness. It's a testament to the enduring vision of Thomas Jefferson, a vision that continues to shape the American narrative. Visiting the Jefferson Memorial, one can't help but feel a sense of awe for the man who played such a pivotal role in shaping the United States. Whether it's the cherry blossoms in the spring or the calm waters of the tidal basin reflecting the monument's grandeur, the Jefferson Memorial offers a chance to reflect on the principles that form the bedrock of this nation. The Jefferson Memorial is a must visit, but there's still more to explore. Now let's dive into the world of art, history, and science at the Smithsonian Institution. Established in the mid-19th century, the Smithsonian Institution has been a beacon of knowledge and culture for well over a century and a half. Born from the generous endowment of British scientist James Smithson, it has since grown into a vast network of museums and research centers that span a multitude of disciplines and interests. The Institution's 19 museums, 9 research centers, and the National Zoo together house an astonishing 154 million artifacts, works of art, and specimens. Each one is a piece of the puzzle that tells the story of our planet, our species, and the universe we inhabit. From the Hope Diamond's brilliant blue sparkle in the National Museum of Natural History to the towering Apollo Lunar Module in the National Air and Space Museum, the Smithsonian's collections truly span the breadth and depth of human experience. But the Smithsonian is more than just a collection of objects. It's a hub of research and learning, where scholars from around the world come to probe the mysteries of our past and envision our future. Through its educational programs and initiatives, it seeks to inspire a new generation of explorers and innovators, encouraging them to ask the big questions and seek the answers. The Smithsonian also plays a vital role as a steward of our cultural heritage, 
It works tirelessly to preserve and protect the artifacts and specimens in its care, ensuring that they will continue to inform and inspire for generations to come. The Smithsonian is not just a place, but an idea. The idea that knowledge should be open to all, that curiosity should be nurtured, and that through understanding our past, we can better shape our future. It's a place that invites us to look closer, think deeper, and dream bigger. The Smithsonian truly is a treasure trove of knowledge, but our journey continues. Next, we take a stroll through the iconic National Mall. This stretch of land, running from the Capitol Building to the Lincoln Memorial, is more than just a park. It's a symbol of American democracy, a place where history has been made time and again. The National Mall holds a special place in the hearts of Americans, standing as a testament to the nation's democratic spirit. Let's delve into its storied past. The National Mall was conceived by Pierre-Charles L'Enfant, a French-born American architect, in the late 18th century. He envisioned a grand avenue, or mall, that would serve as the heart of the capital city. Over the centuries, this vision has evolved into the National Mall we know today, a vibrant public space that embodies the ethos of the nation. The National Mall has served as a venue for some of the most significant events in American history. It's here that Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his legendary I Have a Dream speech during the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom in 1963. It's here that hundreds of thousands have gathered to protest wars, advocate for civil rights, and celebrate presidential inaugurations. Today, the National Mall continues to be a focal point for social and political engagement. It's a place where people can express their views, share their hopes, and engage in the democratic process. Moreover, it's a place where you can feel the pulse of the nation, where you can witness democracy in action. But the National Mall is not just about politics and protests. It's also home to some of the country's most iconic landmarks and revered institutions, including the Washington Monument, the Lincoln Memorial, and the Smithsonian Museums. These landmarks stand as enduring symbols of the country's values and aspirations. So whether you're a history buff, a political enthusiast, or simply a curious traveler, the National Mall offers a unique glimpse into the soul of America. It's a place that invites reflection, encourages dialogue, and inspires hope. The National Mall is a testament to the nation's democratic spirit, but we're not done yet. Now, we visit a place of remembrance and reflection, the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum. Situated just off the National Mall in Washington, D.C., the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum is a sobering testament to one of the darkest periods in human history. Opening its doors to the public in 1993, the museum has since served as a poignant reminder of the six million Jewish lives lost during the Holocaust. The museum's design is thoughtfully laid out, guiding visitors through a chronological narrative of the Holocaust, from the rise of Nazism in Germany to the liberation of the concentration camps. With a wealth of artifacts, photographs, and personal testimonies, the museum paints a harrowing and vivid picture of the events that unfolded. One of the most significant exhibits is the Tower of Faces, a three-story tower displaying photographs from the Jewish community of Eishishak, a small town in what is now Lithuania, wiped out by the Nazis. The faces of men, women, and children frozen in time serve as a stark reminder of the individual lives affected by this tragedy. Another heart-rending exhibit is the Shoe Room, where visitors are confronted with thousands of shoes belonging to the victims. Each pair tells a silent story of a life lost, a family destroyed, and a world changed forever. Beyond its exhibits, the museum's significance lies in its commitment to education and remembrance. It not only documents the atrocities of the Holocaust, but also serves as a stark warning of the dangers of hatred, prejudice, and indifference. It aims to inspire citizens and leaders worldwide to confront hatred, prevent genocide, and promote human dignity. The U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum is more than a collection of artifacts. It's a living testament to the resilience and courage of the human spirit, a place where visitors can reflect on the past and commit to a better, more compassionate future. The U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum is a powerful reminder of the past, but there's one more stop on our journey. Our final stop is a place of honor and respect, the Arlington National Cemetery. This hallowed ground nestled in the heart of Virginia is a living testament to the courage and valor of countless American heroes. The history of the cemetery is as rich as the nation it serves, dating back to the Civil War era. Originally established as a military cemetery during the tumultuous times of the Civil War, 
it has become a symbol of the nation's collective memory and respect for the men and women who've served in the armed forces. The Arlington National Cemetery is more than just a cemetery. It is the final resting place for over 400,000 military veterans and their immediate family members, each with their unique stories of service and sacrifice. From the tomb of the unknown soldier, where unidentified American soldiers from World Wars I and II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War are interred, to the graves of presidents like John F. Kennedy and William Howard Taft, the cemetery is a tapestry of American history and heroism. But Arlington is not just about the past. It continues to play a vital role in national commemorations, serving as the stage for the annual Memorial Day and Veterans Day ceremonies, where the country pauses to remember and honor those who have paid the ultimate price for our freedom. It's a place where we, as a nation, can reflect on the true cost of peace and freedom. Its serene, rolling hills dotted with simple white headstones stand as a stark reminder of the human cost of war and conflict. Each headstone represents a life given in service to the nation, a story of bravery, a tale of sacrifice. The Arlington National Cemetery is a humbling reminder of the sacrifices made for this nation, and with that, we conclude our tour. So, there you have it, a journey through the top tourist spots in Washington, D.C. We've toured the majestic Capitol building, the symbol of American democracy. We've strolled past the White House, the seat of power and home to the president. We've soared to the heights of the Washington Monument, a tribute to the nation's first president. We've stood in awe at the Lincoln Memorial, a monument to a man who kept the nation united. We've admired the Jefferson Memorial, honoring a founding father and the author of the Declaration of Independence. Our journey also took us to the Smithsonian Institution, a treasure trove of American culture and history, the National Mall, a gathering place for the nation, the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum, a stark reminder of humanity's past, and the Arlington National Cemetery, the final resting place of many American heroes. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Remember, the history of a nation is written in its landmarks. Until next time, goodbye and safe travels.